Well, what's his name? I can't say that. Stop it. Get him off me. I can't help you, sorry. Your dog is not chill. He's super chill when we're alone in private. What's wrong if I'm here? I don't know you like that. What? I can't say his name. What does that mean? Because he's a rescue. And he only responds to the N-word. Wow. There's nothing I can do. That's who he thinks he is. So just say it then. I'm not slipping. Come on. Talk to your dog. It's just his name. He's a fantastic dog. So what about does he respond to hard R? I wouldn't know. Damn, you locked in, huh? I'm solid. How do you command him then? I either wait till we're alone and whispering or I put on a Wu-Tang Clang song until they say it. Such a good song. Such a good song. He's activated now. Try it. Sit down. Lay down. Sit down. Again. Lay down. All the way. He's a fantastic dog when you use his name. Go find a Ford racing hat. You can just find stuff? Yeah, one time he found my ex-wife cheating. Nice! All you need is a Wu-Tang Clan song and this dog to find your ex-wife cheating. That's so impressive. He's the greatest dog I've ever had in private. But why don't you teach him a new name? And the amount of times I would have to use his current name first in order to do that would be an insurmountable task. People might find out. Even in private. People and Toms are all around us. Already had a neighbor kid ask me why I'm looping in the middle of a Wu-Tang Clan song over and over in a frenzy and I'm like, why are you peeping on me, little Tommy boy? <laughs> so true. So do you ever take him to a rap concert? 15,000 people chanting his name, his ego does not need that. Shake a paw. Yeah, it's been too long now. Where are you off to? To go marry a black queen so we can have, have a child that can legally talk to your dog. I appreciate you, bro.